After a good night's rest at the Titanic Hotel in Belfast, we shouldered our bags and grabbed a taxi to the bus stop for our ride to Bushmills. Things were about to get a little stressful here, and we definitely spaced on recording the shenanigans we were about to pull to make it on this bus. Be sure to check in on Thursday this week, though, because we're going to share that story then. Short version, we got on the last bus out of town to Bushmills. It was a beautiful ride north up the country, and we passed the time catching up on emails, messaging back some friends, and Ashley was editing videos the whole way up. The public buses have surprisingly good Wi-Fi. After making a few stops for other passengers, we finally pulled into the small, quiet town of Bushmills. After we scrambled off the bus, we just stood there, looking around the small square we had been dropped off in. The weather was beautiful, and we stood there for a moment thinking, wow, we made it. After all the hurdles, almost literally this morning, and stress and lack of sleep, we had finally made it. It's a hot mess. Yeah. Well, but it's a hot mess in Bushmills. After fighting to get here, yep. oh boy, did we, we jumped through some hoops, but we made it. Amazing race practice. It was 100% amazing race practice. <laughs> And I think we nailed it. So, fun. Now we had to find some place to sleep for the next couple of nights. Remember that whole debacle in Dallas? We had to cancel all of our previous reservations we had made, so we are now doing the trip day by day with the help of an app called Hotel Tonight and Airbnbs. We walked over to the Bushmills Inn, which was right next to where we'd been dropped off, and relaxed on their patio with some espresso while we formed a plan. There were almost no rooms to be had in town but we got lucky and found an Airbnb that had two nights available. We jumped on that, messaged the host to see if we could drop our bags off a little early. She was super accommodating and so nice. She invited us to come by while she was cleaning at three and allowed us to leave our things so we didn't have to drag them around town. While we waited for three to come around, I decided to go for a walk up to the primary reason we had come here, the Bushmills Distillery. We had emailed and asked for reservations a couple days prior, but hadn't heard back, and they weren't doing online booking for the same day or next day reservations. I made it. After years, I made it. Standing in the town of Bushmills. I was going to be pretty bummed if we had come all this way and couldn't do a tour of someplace I'd wanted to see since I was in college. After walking around a bit, I was directed to the office to ask about tours. That day was sold out, but as it happened, there were three spots on the VIP tour the very next day. I couldn't get my card out fast enough to pay for that. The people there were so friendly and so kind, I was invited to go down to the bar and have a dram if I wanted to. And I did just that. After dropping our bags, we walked around the town a little more and decided that the next day we would squeeze in a trip to Giant's Causeway before the Bushmills tour. The rest of the day was spent just relaxing, walking around, having a pint or two, and grabbing some food before heading back to our little house and getting some very much needed rest. Until next time, y'all. Cheers. Thank you.